Hello, this is Vern, and after helping so many women from all over the world find their soulmate, I know a thing or two about what to look for in a man. If you're interested in finding out what are the top five qualities to look for in a guy, stay tuned because that's what I'll be revealing in our episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to you.com. Today's another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And I'm super excited today because I get a chance to share with you five top qualities to search for in a man. These are qualities that I have found consistent throughout many years of helping women find their soulmate that can make you feel incredibly at home, happy, relaxed, and being willing to let go of your guard and connect to a man. Okay, the number one quality to search for in a man, it seems like it should be obvious, but it's not, trust me. It's someone who's emotionally available. And here's what I mean by that. A man who's emotionally available is able to enter a relationship. He's not otherwise engaged in something else, but also, I mean, that's obvious, but he's also willing and interested in creating something deeper than just a friendship. He's someone who wants that, has a craving in his heart to go deeper and to create a relationship that's fun, fulfilling, playful, and long-standing, okay? So without this quality of emotionally available, the man can have 250 other qualities but he's gonna be a waste of your time and he's going to uh, make you very anxious most of the time. The second quality to look for in a man is a man who can make shit happen, okay? A man who has that attitude of hunger and being willing to overcome obstacles. Why? Because even if he's not living his passion, maybe he's not living his mission, if he has that attitude of, I will find a way or make one, he's gonna be able to help the relationship, steward the relationship, and help you break free from your own fears as well, and be able to be a leader in the relationship. A guy who stops at the first obstacle is not gonna be able to pursue you as deeply, he's not gonna be able to, whenever you say no and you mean yes, he's not gonna really understand it, like he, he's not gonna be able to read you as fully, and he's not gonna be able to do whatever it takes to deepen the relationship if he stops that obstacle. So look for a man who has the hunger to break free from limitations and who's willing to see something that's not right and do whatever the fuck it takes to make a difference. Because if he has that quality, then you will feel relaxed, you will feel safe around him. If he doesn't have that quality, you will have to step on your masculine energy and make shit happen in the relationship. And that's gonna be very disempowering for you and very castrating for him. Third quality to look for in a man is a man who's very curious about life. A guy who's connected to his passions, but also is curious about more. He wants more. He wants to deepen his understanding about the world. He wants to deepen his understanding about you. A guy who doesn't have a natural curiosity will not want to go very deep with you. You know, I connect to so many women who connect to a man, and on paper it seems like the guy has all the right qualities, but they don't feel fully seen or heard because the man is not going deep inside their heart because he's not curious about learning more about her. So if you really want a guy who's gonna make you feel safe and who's gonna help you to relax your heart and give your heart without holding back, a man who really has curiosity to learn more about you is gonna make you feel fully seen, fully heard, and is gonna inspire you to open your heart more. Fourth quality to search for in a man is gonna be a man who is conscious. Okay, and consciousness of the way I'm describing it right now serves two different purposes. The first purpose is somebody who's self-aware, somebody who knows what the fuck is going on, somebody who has sensory acuity. You know that guy that you're connecting with and he senses something's off and instead of continuing to talk, he actually holds back and says, what's wrong? And he, or, or sometimes you say, well, nothing's wrong. He knows something's wrong. He says, he presses harder because he really wants to know. Somebody who's aware of his own actions to where he knows when he's bullshitting himself, when he's taking actions that are not representative of his true soul, where he's not being congruent, but also someone who can see that in other people and act accordingly based. It requires some level of inspiration and connection to his heart to be able to have that sensory acuity to maneuver around the world and be conscious about what's going on. That's the first thing. The second description of conscious, the way I look at it, is someone who's spiritually open. And by spiritually open, I don't mean that the guy is a Buddha or a guy is meditating all day or a guy follows a specific faith or religion or considers himself to be spiritual. You can have a guy who considers himself to be spiritual and he's a complete a-hole and a guy who is not aware that he's spiritual but he's really open and kind and he's willing to explore something beyond himself. So whether the guy believes in God or not is irrelevant in this concept as long as he's willing to know that whatever he can see is one billionth of what's fucking out there. So if there's more around and there's more to there's at least the option of, of more. 
And if he has that yearning to know more, kind of like hand in hand with curiosity, but about his spirituality, right? Then you're going to be able to create a relationship that is not just something fun or practical or safe, but also a segue for you to express the deepest part of your spirit and soul with him. It's a spiritual playground for both of you, if both of you are conscious. So search for a man who wants more, who wants deeper understanding, and who's self-aware. The last quality to look for, but not least. Last but not least is a man who is incredibly interested in you. And here's what I mean. I usually say somebody who's crazy about you. At the beginning of the relationship, he might not be crazy because he doesn't know you as well yet. But if he's not at the very least very freaking interested in you, do not engage with that guy. A guy who's not showing interest is a guy who's going to make you run, spin your wheels unnecessarily, put up walls, step into your masculine energy, and always feel anxious around the relationship. If he's a great guy, he's smart, he's conscious, but he's not interested in you, F him. Don't waste your time with him. Okay? I'd rather you spend time with someone who is not as, as all those qualities, but he's really interested in you than a guy who has the most amazing qualities and he doesn't show the level of interest. Now, somebody who's very interested in you, I'll tell you the one clue to, to let you know that he's very interested in you. He's pursuing you consistently and his actions match his words. Okay? He's somebody who's following through with actions. He's not just talking the talk. He's actually following through. If he cares about you, he's doing things to make your life easier, to make your life better, and to surprise you. So if you think that these concepts are interesting, I ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And number three, on the description of this video, there's a link that you can subscribe to that can take you to this webinar that will show you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. So if you haven't done so already, click like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and also subscribe to my video series and my webinar so you can get more in tune as to how you can make this happen in very, very, very short time. Thank you so much for connecting with me. If you want to leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this or any question you might have, please drop it by. I'll make sure to answer it personally. Thank you.